Now, just over a year ago, I uploaded this video right here where I can see all that horrible wallpaper, which I've mostly blocked out now. But it was basically about the Elgato Camlink 4K, how you can stop a bunch of crashing and freezing and loads of little issues that I was having with it and all the fixes that you can do. Now, that video was quite heavily focused on the AMD B550 X570 USB disconnect issue that was going on um, for about six, seven months where it was just lots of high bandwidth devices, which is someone like me is going to use all the time. So I'm talking like DACs, audio interfaces, uh, mixers, you know, capture cards, streaming preferables, all of this sort of stuff. There was just so many issues, so many issues to the point that I almost dropped AMD. I almost stopped using them and went back to Intel because it was really getting in the way of my workflow. Now, those issues were mostly resolved and there was one extra trick um, as well that everyone that I would suggest that you would apply to your cam link that would stop it from just randomly disconnecting on ABS. So this was people that were still having issues on Macs, on Intel PCs, laptops, you know, you know, whatever it was, they were having problems with it. Now that software has changed, which someone did mention to me the other day. So I just wanted to do a quick update video on that. So just show you the software is pretty much the same thing. Now, if you're still actually having those AMD issues, because I still get the odd person contact me about it, please just make sure that you're on the latest BIOS and that you've got the latest Agaza installed. If you're still having problems after that with bandwidth issues and disconnects, I'm sorry to be, you know, bringing bad news to you, but I'd swap your motherboard because there's no way I would have persisted for it for that long. I was, until I fixed this cam link like, and made that video, like I'm saying, I was ruthlessly about to sell off all of my equipment. So the 4K capture utility doesn't exist anymore. So you need to go to, let me just go back a step because I'm shooting this video for the second time. So you just need to go here. I'll put a link in the description. You go to Camlink 4K, decide whether it's Windows or Mac because you want to set this setting on both, depending on what you use. So download that one there, the camera hub. And then here you go. I have now got the camera hub installed. Now I'm actually using my ZV-10 in USB mode at the moment because I've lost one of my cam links, so I needed two outputs. Um, and as you can see here, there's not really a lot going on. All you can really do is brightness, contrast, saturation, settings here, restore to battery defaults. So it's exactly the same process as the 4K capture utility. So you need to hold the control key down before you press the mouse. So just keep the control key held down, come over to the settings, click mouse, and there we go. So now there's also update firmware, which I don't think Elgato have released any for, but this is the one that we want, the USB transfer mode. Yours is most likely going to be set to automatic or bulk. Set it to isochronous. This will save you so many problems. It will stop so many disconnects, so many freezes. And honestly, trust me, it's going to make your life better. A lot of people, I, I, I know only 20,000 people watched it. It's not big in YouTube standards, but it's helped a lot of you out. I can't believe actually how many of you were struggling with this issue. Now it will reset itself every now and then, and I've not been able to nail down what it is. I don't know if it's because I'm sw sw swapping it between my PC and my Mac too much, or if I'm putting in a different USB port or a Windows update, I just I haven't been able to figure it out. But if once in a blue moon, it starts getting a bit ropey, you just need to come back, watch this video, give it another watch, like, and subscribe. <laughs> and then just set it to isochronous and you are good to go. Now that setting is going to prevent 99% of your issues. It, it's going to make it work, all right? It's going to be so much better. But the 1%, this is the human error. And this is the one thing that you need to make sure that you're doing. And that is make sure that you plug the cam link because it is a high bandwidth device into its own USB controller. Now, there's a few ways you can figure out what these are on your motherboard. If you just look at the back of your board, you may well have two or four USB 3s, okay? And then you'll probably have maybe some 3.1 or 3.2 gen headers, like two next to each other, maybe like one USB and one USB-C. Those are generally gonna be on different controllers, okay? Now, the easiest way you can do it, if you can't figure that one out, is to plug it into your front panel header because that is its own controller. It's its own cable that goes into the motherboard. And that is one thing that I have generally always done with my Camlink 4K is that I've got it plugged in the front, the front header. Okay, it's not the cleanest look, but if you're just plugging it in when you're using, when you're streaming and stuff, it doesn't matter. At least you know it's got its own bandwidth. And because of that as well, don't use it with USB hubs. If you're going to plug that in and then you're plugging in a stream deck and then I've got all the beacon gear and the audio interface, I've got a USB 3 hub under my desk. It would be so much easier cable management for me to plug everything into it if I do that, I start to get issues. I start to get disconnects. 
So just make sure that it's on its own controller. Make sure you set that isochronous setting and you should be good to go. Now this, the reason we've gone back full cam is because I'm just testing out the Sigma 16mm f1.4 running at f2 into OBS on the cam link. ISO at 160 with hardly any lighting. I have got it cropped in a bit because the Sigma is like really wide on the camera. You can see the whole desk and you can see that horrible wallpaper again. Um, so yeah, interested in what you'd think. Standard picture profile. Did I say I was actually at f2 instead of f1.4? So just find two a little bit sharper, but I hope that figures it out for you. If you come across any other fixes and things that you've had to do to get your cam link running, please let us know in the comment section. I'll be very interested. Um, links for all the downloads, links to the old video if you're struggling with those AMD issues. That's it for me today. Make sure you subscribe and I'll be back with some more videos very soon.